Casey James finished third on season 9 of American Idol. Fans loved his soft, soulful style and, let's be honest, his blue eyes. He signed with Sony Music Nashville after the show and scored a top 20 hit with Crying on a Suitcase. His second studio album would be funded by Kickstarter and get released to rave reviews. It was basically a blues album, which fit him well. Around that time, he got married, and since, he and his wife have had three kids, and I'd say that's the end of the story, but it's not. Casey James is back in country music circles. As of summer 2020, he was part of a reality show supergroup called Texas Hill that includes Craig Wayne Boyd from The Voice and Adam Wakefield from The Voice as well. They're making music and touring today, and yes, Casey still has that long blonde hair and those blue eyes. Two years after Casey, Skylar Lane would impress judges and fans. Give a thumbs up if you've not thought of Skylar in years, but secretly rooted for her. She finished fifth in 2012 by serving fans a steady diet of country covers. Sadly, she never signed a record deal and moved back to Mississippi to return to school. It's not all bad, however. In 2021, TV station WAPT caught up with her to learn she met a man and they got married and is now a mom of four. She's quite happy. And her husband is an army captain and chaplain, and also a huge Hulk Hogan fan. Cree Harrison delighted audiences one year later on her way to a runner-up finish. Be all around me. So she fairly easily ascended to the finals, eventually losing to Candace Glover. Around this time, it stopped being popular for anyone on Idol to get a record deal, and Cree didn't. But she hardly quit music. In fact, quite the opposite. Find her on Instagram to see what she's been working on, or look for her Chosen Family Tree album from 2020. In 2021, she didn't release any new music, but she did marry Jason Martin in July. Now let's shift to a time when TV time on Idol did mean instant success and talk about Kelly Pickler. Kelly's career post-Idol has been fascinating. She's surprisingly low profile for someone who was so charming on television. Pickler, Pickler, pick Pickler, pick me. <laughs> Did you pick Pickler? Kelly has released four studio albums, but hasn't dropped any new music in five years. Since then, she did win Dancing with the Stars with one of the all-time great performances. She also hosted a national daytime talk show called Pickler and Ben, and now she has a new gig. Starting in 2020, she became the midday host on Sirius XM's The Highway. Yep, you can hear her from noon to 4 p.m. daily. No word on if or when she'll record again, although her husband of 10 years is the talented songwriter Kyle Jacobs, so you never know when inspiration might strike. Danny Gokey barely had one country hit, but he might be a top 10 most successful American Idol star. I'm not joking. With some other guy I knew before, between the two of us guys, you know I love you more. If you've lost track of this third place finisher from season eight, it's because you're not into Christian music. That's where he hangs his hat today with seven studio albums and four number one hits. Danny has over 1.3 million listeners every month on Spotify and is really active on social media, especially Instagram. Personally, he and his wife have four kids, the youngest turning three in 2020. It's okay if he'll always be this kid to you. My name is Daniel J. Goki. But now past 40, He's a grown-up superstar. Bucky Covington is next. And if you visit his social media, you'll see that currently he's working on... Uh, not much. Actually, I think I just saw some tumbleweeds roll across his Twitter feed. But just because he hasn't tweeted since 2018, or really released meaningful new music for even longer, doesn't mean he's not busy. He's just not busy with music. He does pretty much look and sound the same. <laughs> Hey guys, Bucky Covington here, and it's showtime again. Bucky had three really good top 10 singles after finishing eighth on season five of Idol. This was the same season as Kelly Pickler, the one Taylor Hicks would win. A song called The Father's Love in 2010 was really the last time he dented country radio. If you do get a post on Instagram these days, it's likely to be of him and daughter Kennedy, or wife Hannah, to whom he married in 2020. Finally, Trent Harmon. I'm not joking when I say Trent more or less disappeared for 17 months. That's how long he stayed off Twitter 
And when he finally came back, he came back with this. Trent won season 15 of American Idol and signed to Big Machine two singles, There's a Girl and You Got Em All, just cracked the top 40. I'll go on record as saying both of these were good songs, but Trent never seemed to embrace the fame that came with being an Idol winner. Then he had a record label issue and girl troubles. Yeah, it was a lot, so after splitting from Big Machine in March 19, he more or less signed off until February 2021. Between then, he did get married to a first grade teacher named Kathleen. She's actually the one who inspired the title track of his new album, You Got Them All. The only song he's released in three or four years is the one called She's My Heaven. The up's coming, going, the down's gonna show now in the end. Is a comeback likely for Trent? Probably not, as it seems he's pretty content being the songwriter type. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Who's been your favorite American Idol winner or contestant? Let us know in the comment section below before you leave. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.